Hey YouTube, what's happening? Fist of Legend here. I want to do a quick unboxing video. I've been waiting on this knife for a minute. I've been trying to track one down. And if we zoom in right here, you'll see Brady and the cats over at Monkey Depot, aka MonkeyEdge.com, came through in a pinch. So without further ado, I'm going to open it up with this little uh, Steve Gwynn double bolstered little uh, lock back. This I mostly carry for sentimental purposes. I got this from my daughters and uh, it's a nice little, you know, got a little nail nick, you know, nice little, nice little lock back piece. Alright, so let's see how we do. I am definitely not one of those dudes who has mastered the art of the on-camera unboxing, so I'm just gonna make a couple surgical cuts. I've heard a lot about this knife, and I've been really anxious. Uh, I have I have had some other knives from this maker. Um, let's see what the best way to do this is through the camera. There we go. Yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about it. So I'm definitely anxious to check it out. Move that out of the way. I've got some good friends that um, have had nothing but rave reviews for this particular knife. So let me move this off camera for a minute and just dump these. These peanuts. Give you something to look at real quick. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so here is the knife. And some of you may recognize that already through the wrapper, through the bubble wrap. There we go. Let me zoom in. So this is the Les George VECP. And uh, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. It is a mid-tech knife, so not a full custom, but it has a lot of the full custom amenities. And, um... Yeah, it's a much slimmer slimmer profile than I expected, and that's actually kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that slim profile is nice. It definitely feels good in the hand. We'll just take a look at it together for the first time. So that's nice. It's got nice bevels all the way around the titanium frame, which makes it very comfortable. And the knife to handle, the blade to handle ratio, you see the, the handle is very long which is a thing that I've heard about these which makes it really nice in the hand and I have to say uh, a lot of you guys know I prefer big folders um, so this kinda has a big folder feel to it even though I believe it's only a 3.5 inch blade and of course it's got the uh, Carpenter XHP steel which I'm a huge fan of ambidextrous thumb studs huh. Yeah, definitely nice. Definitely feels great in the hand, so I'm anxious to kind of put this to work. <laughs> I say that relatively because, you know, as we all know, I'm not Mr. Hard Use Guy. But uh, I'm definitely anxious to kind of check this bad boy out. Hmm, nice. Alright. Alright, so that's it, just real quick. The Les George VECP. Let me uh, let me throw it in the pocket for a little bit and get back to you guys. Not that I really need to do that. There's probably a ton of great videos out there already, huh? Yeah, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Tap for tip up and tip down. Alright, so there it is. Uh, I did also get a custom deep carry pocket clip 
from Steve Rice. And it works for a variety of three screw folders. This one was particularly, uh, this works for the Spyderco. I got these for my Spyderco militaries. I got a few of them, but I do have an extra one sitting around and I really like this deep carry clip. So I'm going to actually try that on this because it is a standard, uh, it is a, it is a, it does take, uh, three screw clips. So I'm going to give that one a shot. All right. All right. That's it. I hope all is well. Hope everybody had great holidays and, uh, all the best in the new year. Bless George V-E-C-P. All right, YouTube.